Hi, I'm Tyson with Adventure Rig, and we're up here in Bemidji, Minnesota. It's hot. It's 91 degrees. Luckily, we're on the shores of the lake, and that water seems to take just a little bit of edge off the heat. This summer, I have added a few extra pieces to my wardrobe by Unbound Merino. Specifically, the crew t-shirt that I'm wearing, as well as the essential shorts. I also have a pair of their merino tensile pants, as well as their compact travel hoodie. Now, like I said in the beginning, this is merino wool. So I wanna to touch on a few great characteristics that merino wool has. First of all, it's naturally odor fighting. So what I like about this is it's a great travel piece. The shorts, the t-shirt, the pants, anything merino wool, naturally fights odor. This means that you're gonna go longer between washings. This would have been great to have a few years ago when Callie and I took a trip to Europe. We never went to a laundromat once. So I was kind of re-wearing t-shirts that stank after the first day, but I don't get that at all with this shirt. It's also great at regulating your body temperature. On those really hot days like we have today, it's going to help to keep you a little bit cooler. And then if there's a little bit of chill in the air and it's cold outside, it's going to help to keep you warmer. It's also naturally moisture wicking. So if you're out there and you're sweating, it's going to pull that sweat off of your body and into the garment. What's cool about it is wool can actually absorb up to 30% more water than your synthetic or your cotton garments. The downside to this is that wool does take a little bit longer to dry versus your cotton or your synthetic. Before I dive into this, I am six feet tall, 34 inch waist, 44 inch chest and roughly 195 pounds. The shirt that I'm wearing is their crew t-shirt. This is again, 100% merino wool t-shirt. What I was very surprised by pulling it out of the package is how soft it was. It's also very stretchy. I have a ton of movement in it. What gives it that soft feeling is the super fine wool that they're using. It's 17.5 micron, and it doesn't lend itself to that big bulky wool sweater that maybe you think about when you think about the term wool. The shorts are 48% cotton, 48% wool, and 4% spandex. What I like about the 4% spandex is I have a ton of movement in these shorts. These are something that I could easily go for a hike in or go out to dinner with Callie because they look stylish, yet they're comfortable and they serve a purpose. I can go hike or I can go climb in them. I did get these in a 34 inch waist and that's pretty much the size that I wear across the board in all of my shorts and pants currently. So I found that they do fit true to size. They're kind of a no frills short. I have two basic hand pockets on the front. And if I turn around, you can see that I have two back pockets here. And on this side, I do have an included zippered pocket if you're trying to hold anything valuable that you definitely don't want to lose. Now on the outside, it does have a little bit of a textured pattern to it. And I like that, it gives it just a little bit more style than just something that's more basic. Earlier I mentioned it was 91 degrees and it's really freaking hot still, but I wanted you to check out the compact travel hoodie. This is another great piece. It's 97% merino wool and 3% elastane. It's pretty basic, has a hood as well as two hand pockets in the front and then on the inside, a pocket on each side. This is wonderful for taking the chill off of the night. If we're out on the pontoon and it's getting dark, I can easily throw this on. Or in Colorado, I can layer with it underneath my ski jacket or wear it as its own jacket in the springtime. It's just a great piece. It fits wonderfully. It has a ton of stretch to it and it's comfortable. The last piece I wanna mention is the Merino tinsel pant. I don't have it in me to throw those on with how hot it is, but after flying or after skiing, working out, anything like that, if I'm lounging around, I like to slip them on because they're very comfortable. However, I can still go out on the town with them if I'm a little bit more casual. One thing that I noticed about these pants is that they are just a little bit heavier. So I like that because I feel like maybe they're gonna be a little bit more durable and they're gonna last that much longer. Again, all of this is made by Unbound Merino. If you guys go to their website, you can search through everything that they have because they have a lot more options than what I'm wearing. Now, if you like it and you wanna order it, we are affiliates for them. So if you use our link, that would be awesome and we would appreciate it. If you guys have any questions on it, please leave them in the comments section below and we'll get back to you. Also, if you like the videos, make sure to give us a thumbs up as well as subscribe. Thanks again for watching. I'm Tyson with Adventure Rig.